Hello, I'm David Rudoy, a criminal defense attorney based out of Bloomfield Hills Township in Oakland County, Michigan. One of my primary focuses is Michigan medical marijuana law. I'd like to preface this by letting you know that this is not legal advice, just my opinion based on my experience. Today, we will discuss what to do if the police come to the door of your home or grow facility for a knock and talk, if you are a medical marijuana caregiver. The knock and talk is a tactic used by police to attempt to gain entrance into a home or grow facility without a search warrant supported by probable cause. The police will also attempt to gain as much information as possible to both help support a search warrant and to use against you in a criminal case. During a knock and talk, the police will walk up to your house, apartment, or grow facility because they have some reason to believe that illegal activity is going on. First, they will listen outside the front door for a short period of time. They will observe any evidence that they can that marijuana is being grown, manufactured, used, bought, or sold. Next, the police will knock on the door and will want to talk to you. Their main goal will be to attempt to have you invite them into your home or grow facility. They may even lie to convince you to let them in. First thing first, do not allow them in or consent in any way to them entering your home. Every situation is a little different and you have choices when you are faced with a police knock and talk. Once you see the police are knocking at your door, make sure you grab your registry identification card or cards. It is important to have the next step planned. Do not just open your door and start talking with the police. One choice is to walk out of the door and make sure to close the door and lock it behind you before talking to the police. If you have a back door, tell the police to wait one second and walk out of the back door to then go talk to the police outside your front door. Thus, they will never have the chance to see or smell inside of your house or to attempt to put their foot in the front door and thus keep it propped open. This will prevent the police from attempting to see some sort of evidence in plain view. If the police can see drugs or drug paraphernalia in plain view, they may attempt to make a warrantless entry. One important point to consider, when you choose to walk out of your home or grow facility and close the door behind you when responding to the police's knock and talk, the police may believe they do have probable cause to then go and get a search warrant, and they may prevent you from re-entering your home while they wait to get the search warrant. This is because they're attempting to keep you from destroying any evidence. You may still leave the area, but you will not be allowed to re-enter. Thus, if you have children, or for any other reason will need to get back in your home, you may not want to ever leave your home in the first place, and instead use the second tactic we will soon discuss. If you choose to leave your home and talk to the police outside, remember to be polite, but admit nothing. The officer will likely be part of a special drug enforcement team and thus will be highly trained on how to get you to admit incriminating information that they can both use for probable cause to get a search warrant as well as evidence against you at trial. Also, the officer will not look or seem like the cops that you're used to. They're usually about 25 to 40 years old, and they seem to be cool in their haircuts and dress. Remember, they are not cool. They do not like the Michigan Medical Marijuana Act, and they are attempting to gather evidence to have you brought up on criminal charges. Wait for the officers. They will eventually tell you that they have a tip that you are selling or manufacturing marijuana, or that based on some other evidence, they believe this to be true. Only at that point do you tell them that you are a registered, qualified caregiver under the Michigan Medical Marijuana Act and that you are in possession of, of an amount of marijuana plants and usable marijuana that is less than the maximum amount that you are allowed to possess under the Michigan Medical Marijuana Act and that all of the marijuana is intended for medical use only. Next you should show them your registry identification card or cards. Never consent to the police entering your home. They will ask if they can just take a look. Just respectfully tell them that they, you are not consenting to any search and have been instructed not to allow any person to enter your enclosed and locked facility as the Michigan Medical Marijuana Act states that only you may enter. 
If they push any more than that, just tell the officer respectfully that you believe in your Fourth Amendment constitutional right to privacy. Do not answer any further questions. Respectfully tell the police that you do not wish to answer any more questions without a lawyer present. Your second option is to never leave your home in the first place. Talk to the officer through an intercom system if you have it, through a closed and locked door if there is some glass for you to eventually be able to show them your valid registry identification card or cards. A third possibility is to talk to the officers through an open second floor window, but this will limit your ability to show them your registry identification cards. Again, wait. The officers will eventually tell you that they have a tip that you are selling or manufacturing marijuana, or based on some other evidence, they believe this to be true. Only at that point do you tell them that you are a registered qualifying caregiver under the Michigan Medical Marijuana Act, and that you are in possession of an amount of marijuana plants and usable marijuana that is less than the maximum amount that you are allowed to possess under the Michigan Medical Marijuana Act, and that all of the marijuana is intended for medical use only. Next, you should show them your registry identification card or cards. Again, never consent to the police entering your home and do not answer any further questions. Respectfully tell the police that you do not wish to answer any more questions without a lawyer present. This opinion is based on a generic factual situation. Under more specific circumstances, more specific advice should be sought from an attorney. Thank you.